this video, I'm going to show you how to activate the Rogers card on this device. First thing we want to do is we want to exit Auction Track. So we'll click on File in the bottom left hand corner, select Exit. We'll be coming to the App Center screen, and we want to exit this as well. So on the bottom right hand corner, click on Tools, select Exit. It'll ask you for the password and the default password is symbol. Okay, once we come to the main screen, we want to make sure that the phone is on. In order to do that, we'll click on the top bar, menu should drop down, and we will click on the green bars with the phone icon. Click on that. If you notice here, it says the phone is off. So what we'll do to turn it on is click on wireless manager. And we'll go here to this gray phone tab, click on that phone is on now. Next thing we'll have to do is exit this. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to want to go to the settings. So in order to do that, on the bottom left hand corner we're going to click on the Windows icon, click on settings, click on the connections folder. Now we're going to click on phone network setup. And in here, uh, one of the things is we want to make sure that the GSM ban is selected. If it is, it is not selected, we'll go to ban. Go to the ban tab, click on that. Right here where it says network type, click on the arrow and select GSM only. After that is done, click on OK. This screen will come up, just click OK, that's fine. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to create the Rogers profile. In order to do that, we got to go to connections. So we'll click on connections here. We're going to select the advanced tab, top left. Now we're going to go to select networks box. Click on that. And at this screen, we're going to click on the new, new box. And here I'm going to enter Rogers. After I enter, entered Rogers, I'm going to go to the modem tab here on top right. And on the bottom, I'm going to click on New. Right here at the bottom. Click on New. What I'll do here is I want to change the modem. That's the only thing I have to change here. So I'll click on this Down tab click on cellular line GPRS. After that is selected, click on next. Now it comes to screen to ask you for the access point name and what you'll do there is enter, enter internet.com and click on next. And then when you come to this screen, you can leave all this blank. We don't have to enter any information for username, password, or domain. Just click on finish. Then we'll just click on OK. And right here on the bottom, we want to also make sure that Rogers is selected. So now we have Rogers on the top and the left. Now this is how you would activate Rogers on this device.